Pep Guardiola understands Real Madrid's decision to boycott Monday's Ballon d'Or ceremony, insisting, it's up to them. Rodri scooped the top award in Paris after helping Manchester City win an unprecedented fourth successive Premier League title, while he was part of Spain's victorious squad at Euro 2024. The central midfielder's importance is highlighted by the fact City have not tasted defeat in any of the 34 Premier League games in which he has featured this year. Rodri pipped Vinicius Jr. to the accolade, with the winger and his club sparking controversy by not attending after finding out he would not be winning. The Madrid winger scored 24 goals and provided 11 assists last season, as Los Blancos won a La Liga and Champions League double. Guardiola empathizes with Vinicius, who he feels was also deserving of the award, but highlighted other notable recent examples where the result could have gone either way. It's up to them, the citizens boss said. If they want to congratulate, that's fine. If not, that's fine as well. At Manchester City, we are not here to judge other clubs on what they decide they have to do. Last year, for example, Erling, Haaland, won the treble, scored more than 50 goals. I said to him, just being there, you have to be so happy. I said the same to Rodri. If you are in the first two, three or four, it's exceptional. You have to be so satisfied. Last season, should Erling have won? Yes. Should Messi have won? Yes. It's not important who wins. It represents that you and your teammates have done something really nice that season. Should it be Vinicius? Maybe. It's voted by journalists, you know, not an elite group of people who decide. It's people all around the world that vote, not just one country. There are different opinions, and that's what makes football nice, no. Of course, if Vinicius won, it would have been more than deserved. The same with Erling Haaland last year. It will be really open. There will be more chance to win. Guardiola also paid tribute to Rodri who became only the third different Spanish winner of the Ballon d'Or after Alfredo Di Stefano in 1957 and 1959 and Luis Suarez in 1960. The midfielder was also the first Spaniard to make the top three since Andres Iniesta finished third in 2012, with the City head coach acknowledging the dominance of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Rodri made an incredible speech, Guardiola added. He spoke about family, Man City and Spanish football. In the last decade, Spanish football has made such a difference. They've won a World Cup, a Euros, and Spain were never able to win this award before. Their importance in the last 10 or 15 years has been so important. I remember once we nominated three players from La Major. Xavi and Iniesta couldn't win it because Messi's a monster and nobody could beat him. Just Cristiano Ronaldo. He's a monster and the father of the monster is Messi. Subscribe Z Sports Media for more football news and highlights.